Craig Warwick here and I've got a showcase of some of my custom action figures for you today. But before that, I've got my pink ACBA t-shirt on. That's ACBA. And that's to say good luck to everyone that's going to be taking part in the ACBA World Tournament, which kicks off in just a few weeks time. Hopefully January 2013 if everything goes to plan. I made a short ACBA video and if you haven't checked that out then please do so. I think I'll be able to post some kind of link up here. Will I? Will I? Yes. Yes, I will. Anyway, good luck to everyone that's taking part. I will not be taking part. Oh, I know you're, you're tray disappointed. But unfortunately, I'm far too lazy. I don't have any, any particular reason. I'm just too lazy. Anyway, I did spend some effort putting together these figures. So why don't we take a look at them? And it is, of course, Thanos the Mad Titan. And here he is with his base inspired by my favourite comic story ever, The Infinity Gauntlet. But before we take a closer look at the base, we'll take a look at the main guy himself. So Thanos is made from an Avengers movie Hulk figure, so he stands quite tall as a quick size comparison. Here's him next to the Silver Surfer. Look at that height difference. And look at the Silver Surfer's inability to stand up. Good going, Norrin. Rest on Thanos there. Thanks for that. And for another size comparison, here's him with the Marvel Select Thanos. He's the one on the left. Marvel Select Thanos is looking a bit naked. He's missing his shoulder pads and his skirt section because he's been ever such a darling and loaned his wardrobe to my Thanos. This is exactly as it came from over here. And I modded this a little because this Thanos is a little bit slimmer on the waistline than this big chunky guy. And using the Marvel Select rubber skirt thing, it lets him get into these really quite deep poses, coupled with the Movie Hulk ankle articulation there that works really well. And while the body is from an Avengers Movie Hulk figure, the head is from a House of M Marvel Legend Hulk figure. I did go back and forward on whether to paint the eyes. Thanos is often shown with his eyes lighting up with rage or power or something. But when he's not having a big bad mood, they're usually completely black, so I left them that way here. The details such as his chin and his... is that a tiara, Thanos? I'm not too sure. And those really rather fetching earmuffs are all sculpted. All of his other costume details, save for of course the shoulder pads and the skirt, are fully sculpted. And it's finished off with a lot of dry brushing on the blues. And to add some depth to the gold areas, I first painted it with a flat gold and then went into the recesses with an almost coppery orange gold and then did a little bit of dry brushing to bring out some of the gold highlights that really help sort of pick out the details on areas such as his gloves. And speaking of gloves, why don't we take a look at his Infinity Gauntlet? This, of course, is the gauntlet in question with the six Infinity Gems, the four across the top, one in the middle and one round the side. These gems control the six aspects of the universe. We've got power, time, space, soul, mind, and reality. And Thanos used these to try and impress the love of his life, death, in redressing a great cosmic imbalance, which, according to him, is the fact that there are more people alive today than have ever died. In the comic The Thanos Quest, Thanos searched around the universe and wrestled these off of their owners, the elders of the universe. Um, he seemed to have gone to a lot of trouble because what I did was just pop up to Hobbycraft and I got loads of them, just like this. So a um, bit of a waste of time there, Thanos. And in response to the threat that Thanos posed to the universe, Earth brought its greatest heroes together to fight Thanos. And as you can tell, that didn't go down very well. While the heroes did face a huge defeat and were murdered mercilessly, this wasn't actually the fate they ended up with. This petrified heroes diorama is based on art from the Infinity Gauntlet, actually when Nebula had control of the gauntlet and the cosmic beings assaulted her and she froze them all in stone. So while the base isn't quite comic accurate, all the heroes that did fight against Thanos are represented here. So excuse me while I hold up the camera and take you on a little tour of who we have here. Start right down the front. We have Captain America, Cyclops, and this is a custom Cyclops. He was in his X-Factor costume during that fight. So it's the Jim Lee X-Men classics head on some kind of 
electro body or something. We've got Doctor Doom. We have the Hulk, and this was the Smart Hulk, so I've trimmed his hair a little at the sides, and I've put that head on the Maestro body. While you can't see it, he does have boots on there. She-Hulk up the back. Um, that's not the costume or the hairstyle she had, but I could not be bothered doing anything further. If you go right in, see if I can spot him, right in the back there, just next to Thor's arm on the right, you'll see a little face through the gap. That is Cloak, and you'll see his cloak spanning out. His cloak is actually made from a sheet of styrene that I just twisted and heated and bent. Then moving up, we have Nova. This is just a face of Daredevil body that I had lying around and some sort of mishmash of heads that I was working on at some point and just repurposed for this. Up the back we have the Vision. This is a bit of a custom Vision here. It's actually the DCUC Mercury body with a Moon Knight cape and the Vision's head on it. Going down to the centre again we have Thor and this was I believe Eric Masterson. You'll notice that this is the Giant Man series Thor with a sculpted mask and beard. Then we have the most recent Iron Man figure and down here we have Wolverine. Now Wolverine's claws are all twisted and beyond that being the fate of all plasticky Wolverine claws, that's a little homage there to his fate in the comics when Thanos reduced his adamantium skeleton to spongy rubber and left him for dead. We have Spider-Man there. A little bit behind him was a fairly substantial custom that is a House of M Hulk with the Ruffalo movie Avengers Hulk head on him and that is the destroyer Drax. Um, I used some craft foam for his collar and for his wristbands and he's got some random cape fodder on him there. So that's just me making use of the fodder that was left over from Thanos. Then we have the Submariner. He's got little wings on his feet and a custom head. I think it's Sentry's head I used. Uh, oh, down there, can't forget her, it's Wanda. That's a Wanda head on a DCUC crime syndicate superwoman body. Up the back, Quasar. It's just Captain Marvel with a cape on, which is more or less what Quasar looked like. And there we have Fire Lord. That's a Johnny Storm figure just on an electro head with just some uh, iron fist flames on the end of a staff and I think that is me covered everyone in the base. The base itself is made from foam core, several layers of it and it's covered with grouting to give a stone effect and then scored into it to get the tiles and painted. Now you may notice through Captain America's legs here that middle area doesn't look quite as stony as that, that's because this lights up and if I can just get round the back of it, I'll demonstrate that. So in all honesty, this feature didn't work out as well as I wanted. You press the button once and you get a ring of lights. The second time, it gives us these multicoloured lights. And these are the colours of the Infinity Gems. And then once more, it gives us both lights on together. This is just one of these circular lights you can buy at a supermarket with the inner ring of lights just coloured with some transparent paint. So while it's not an amazing effect and as great as I planned, it does add a certain something to it when it's in the dark. So there we have Thanos the Mad Titan with his Infinity Gauntlet and his Fallen Heroes Shrine Trophy Monument to his lover, Mistress Death. This was a lot of work but being my favourite story ever, this was a lot of fun for me to do. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.